Well, on the moment, we are working with my colleague Sanna Marttila in this um, EU-funded project called EU Screen, which uh, aims to bring uh, audiovisual content like old TV pro programs uh, more available for people online. Um, so that is what we're working on. We're uh, looking into creative ways of using archival video materials as well as um, um, designing the portal that is, uh, or taking part in the design of the portal where the video mater materials will be. So, well, our presentation was called Practices and Challenges in uh, Reusing Archival Video Materials. So it was again related to this uh, EU project. Um, we did a little workshop uh, last fall in which uh, people could uh, remix uh, videos with uh, either video editing uh, tools or VJing tools. And uh, part of it was to promote open content and Creative Commons licensed content, archival video content, and uh, also to see what the difficulties there are currently in remixing this type of uh, open content as opposed to taking anything from YouTube or other sources. This was a pilot workshop, so we got some initial feedback because um, we also interviewed the participants um, about the process, how they made the remix, everything from uh, viewing other people's content, being inspired, choosing clips, putting them together with different tools and then making, presenting the final remix. So. So we got uh, an insight into the process of how, how people make these, how they combine things from different sources, and um, also um, how much they know maybe about Creative Commons or this, uh, that it exists even, because not everybody knows that it, it, this open content is available, and how we, uh, how we use these findings. We, uh, we try to understand them uh, uh, from the perspective like what kind of uh, creative uses there could be for archival videos, but also from this design perspective. So if we will make a, a, a web portal or other kind of tool where we have the archival videos, so, so uh, how do the videos need to be uh, presented uh, and what kind of additional tools need to be around it for people to being able to use them more easily because currently it's not always so easy.